coronavirus or COVID-19, so it's called, right? Yeah, um, many ways are being suggested on prevention and what have you. Truly the best way, I believe, is just to keep your hands clean, sanitize as many times as you can all day long um, because we're constantly touching things, we're constantly greeting people and we do so in you know different ways but we try to keep it from being like a open hand shake we just kind of dap up and stuff like that elbow knuckles but i'm making this video because i want to show people um i've been noticing people aren't keeping their hands clean um but there's a very effective way to keep your hands clean i just want to show you what i do to keep mine clean and maybe you can pick something up from that so if you're ready here we go all right so when you're washing your hands, what you want to keep in mind is how you use your hands, all right? So, uh, especially when you make contact with other people. Um, nowadays, we try to be careful, so we do a lot of dapping with our knuckles, and we, you know, we hit people on their knuckles. Um, sometimes we get to the point now, especially now that the weather's getting warm, our elbows are exposed, so we kind of dap elbows just to keep from, you know, handshaking and things of that nature. So, but keep in mind, when you're using your hands, you use what parts of them? Right, so your knuckles, fingertips, okay? The fingertips, pushing elevator buttons, grabbing door handles, things of that nature, picking up anything, um, and then your elbow. So when you're washing those things, you just wanna keep that in mind that you gotta get all that stuff clean. So like I said, back of the knuckle, you wanna get, get the soap, and make sure you get all that clean. Right? And, like I said, now that it's warm and our elbows are exposed, you wanna get that soap up here, right? So you're gonna be washing like a doctor. It's the only way to actually thoroughly get all the germs off your hands, right? Keeping in mind how we use our hands, okay? Cause when you got an inner ear itch, what do you do? You put your finger in your ear and you kinda do of one of them, right? So you gotta make sure your fingertips are clean. You can clean in your eyes, what you do, your fingertips are in your eyes. So one thing you want to make sure you do is get the areas of your hands that you're using the most. Your fingertips, the backs of your hands, where you're making contact with other people, and your elbows. So soak them up real good. Get all that rinse off. You make a little bit of a water mess, but that ain't as important as making sure you get all this clean. And you want to rinse thoroughly and you know you hear everybody say 20 seconds is the amount of time you should spend i won't say 20 seconds i say more than 20 seconds so no less than 20 seconds is what you should be looking at but once you've gotten the backs of your hands clean right inside your knuckle grooves from dapping your elbows clean from elbow dapping your fingertips clean from touching everything with your fingertips once you've got all that clean with warm water, not hot, not too hot, not too cold, because if the temperature's not right on the water, what you're going to do is you're not going to spend the amount of time washing your hands because the water's either too hot, so you won't leave it in the water long enough, or it's too cold, and that's that's just as irritating too, so you won't want to leave your hands in the water long enough. So you want the water temperature to be perfectly warm, right? Get your arms rinsed off, get your Back to your knuckles rinsed off, your fingertips rinsed off. 30 seconds, a minute, longer than 20 seconds. And here's the other thing, when you dry your hands, use paper towels because you can discard them and you won't use them again. Uh, if you're using towels, try to use a towel once and throw that towel in the laundry. Do not reuse a towel if you, you know, when you're at home, do not reuse the towel because it contains the germs you just wiped off of your body inside that towel. Now, you don't want to keep using that towel. So try to use paper towels to dry your hands because you discard them. And then um, once you've dried yourself off real good, you all set. And then if you want, you can go back and do some hand sanitizing too. But that's the best way to get yourself cleaned up after you've been, you know, making contact with people and items and objects all day long. All right. And on that note, peace.